One of the biggest stories of 2018 sounds more like something out of a James Bond movie, an ex-Russian spy and his daughter poisoned by a nerve agent in Salisbury. It demonstrates how reckless Russia is prepared to be, how little the Kremlin cares for the international rules-based order, how comfortable they are at putting ordinary lives at risk. Then, four months after Sergei and Yulia Skripal were taken into intensive care, a couple were exposed to Novichok in Amesbury. Dawn Sturgis lost her life. Her partner, Charlie Rowley, was left seriously ill. He was sweating loads, dribbling, and you couldn't speak to him. He was making funny noises, and he was rocking backwards and forwards, and like there was no response from me. He didn't even know I was there. It's like he was in another world. It was hallucinating. Undoubtedly dark days for South Wiltshire. But from those, stories of bravery, like Nick Bailey, the Wiltshire Police Detective Sergeant who carried out investigations at the Screeples House in Christie Miller Road, only to end up in hospital. And the doctors and nurses who saved their lives. The past few weeks have been enormously testing for all our staff. They have pulled together, not just to deliver outstanding care for the individuals caught up in these terrible events, but to all our patients as they do day in and day out. And it was a city united that greeted dignitaries, including the Prime Minister. The important message I've had today from Salisbury is that Salisbury is open. You know, it's a great city to visit and we want to see people coming here and continuing to enjoy the beauty and the history of this wonderful city. We will not tolerate such barbaric attacks against our country. So it's Salisbury's fighting spirits that we take forward into 2019.